Okay, time for pack three. And you can see now we're probably going to... You notice we were past very little green in that pack. We had a lot of Gnar color, which is, is very nice. Um, we've opened the line of Anticipation. Not too exciting. Um, it's kind of cool if it's in your starting hand because it lets you play things on their turn. It uh, lets you play all your cards at instant speed. But if it's not in your opening hand, it's not really something you want to be playing on turn four. Um, I'd like some more removal. Not a solemn offering yet either. Sorry, this, the last part just popped up. <laughs> um, uh, don't need another scroll thief. Just can, I can take another four C. I think these two twos aren't really gonna help us much. Get some more card draw. It'd be nice to get another big creature to kill them with as well. After those two air servants, there it is, Sarah Angel. That's what, definitely the pick here. The Sarah Angel just kind of does everything. Like Sarah Angel used to be a rare for most of the history of Magic: The Gathering. It was a rare for a long time, and it's an uncommon now. It's very nice for us. Ali Vanguard's a good creature, but not really in a control deck. It's actually a really good creature if you're playing an aggressive deck with like Elite Vanguard and Stormfront Pegasus and Infantry Veteran and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't really like Ice Cage. Um, it's easy for people to knock it off. It shuts down a creature, but once they target that creature with an ability, the ice falls off, and then it goes to the graveyard. So that's what I was talking about with the Holy Strength before. Okay, um, definitely picking the Sarah Angel here. Now we got three big flying creatures to kill them with, which should be enough. Especially when we can tap all of their flying creatures. And pretty much our strategy here is to kill them with flying creatures. <laughs> um, let's see what we got here. Okay, this time I might actually take the War Priests. Um, these top cards don't have anything for us. Interestingly, green cards are not, well, the Worm here, but there, ha there wasn't much green in the last pack or this one, so it's possible that all those good green cards we passed in pack one got people fighting over green. Um, could take Terramorphic Expanse, but don't think we need it. We're in two colors, we're not playing a third one. Uh, we don't need double colors until at least turn three. And we only have one, two, three spells that are even double color. Most of them just have one color mana cost in their cost. So yeah, I'll take War Priest and kill an enchantment. We'd like a way to kill an artifact before this draft's over, hopefully. Um, redirect, interesting. I think that might actually be really good in our deck. It's not the greatest card in a lot of situations. Like it might be bad against some people, we'd have to side sideboard them out. But um it says you choose new targets for target spell. So like if somebody tries to fireball us or something, we can just change all the targets. <laughs> and just like take any removal spell and throw it back at them. So it's a good source for a two for one. I don't see much else to do here. We don't really have much real removal. White has the real removal, like pacifism. Um, but we haven't really been getting past it. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and take this redirect. Um, safe passage isn't bad. Might take one if we get a later. Johnny's mantra is bad. You don't want to take this card. Um, all it does is gain life. It's like the angel's feather and all that stuff. You only want to play that if you have to. You're short on like good cards. Um, let's see what we got here. Mighty Leap, Negate, and that's it. Uh, we have two mana leaps for counters right now. That's it. Let's see, for non-creatures we have Tome Scout we're not going to play, Holy Strength we're not going to play. We have Mighty Leap, Redirect, two mana leaks, that's four. Five, Armored Ascension. Six, seven with the four Cs. So yeah, I think we can go with one more non-creature. Let's take this negate. It's good, because I didn't think we had much of an option otherwise. And here, the card's starting to get bad again. Um, I don't know. I don't think I want to play two Palace Guard. Okay, let's look at our creatures. Got Blinding Mage, Agriel. Don't really want to play a Silver Cut Land. I'll play the War Priest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape, actually. We have like pretty much our whole deck finished. Um, don't think we need another Palace Guard. I take this Ice Cage, even though I don't like it. We can probably sideboard it in against green decks. Things of new target abilities could be good. 
Um, that is an absurdly late Triskelion. I don't know how that could possibly still be there. Um, that's probably a failure in the bot, honestly. Like, this card is first pickable. If we open this in the, uh, any of the packs, I would have taken it. Um, I'm not sure how that happened. That's going to make our deck a lot better. That's another way to kill people. Um, you can either beat them up with a 4-4, four four, or you can start, like, killing their stuff. Trike. Got to take the trike. Trike is awesome. I'm not... That's not something I think that would happen if, like, there were real players in this game. Alluring Siren is interesting here. Um, this creature makes your opponent's creatures attack you if you want them to. Um, this could be really good because it kind of can play in with our tap strategy between the Blinding Mage and the Air Servants. And what this could do here is make our opponent's creatures attack into one of our, like, Wall of Frost, um, or into, like, some of our defensive creatures. So we can get their blockers out of the way, especially um, flying guys. And then even if like, even if we can't kill their guys by blocking, we have so many creatures like Wall of Frost and Palace Guard and Azure Drake that can block well. So that's actually a nice card for our deck here. Um, I guess we'll take Silvercoat Lion. It's the only card in our colors. Probably not going to play it. But yeah. There's another negate. I'd rather have another negate than another holy strength. Um, I'm really happy to see that solemn offering. Solemn offering cards like this that are situational: destroy target artifact or enchantment, destroy target blue or or um, black or red creature. Cards like that. They're not cards I would play main deck, although I've seen people do it before. But. Um, you could definitely bring this in if your opponent's playing like a Juggernaut or some some kind of big scary artifact or enchantment. Um, grab more folks by, and I'll take the key. I hope somebody plays Worms Tooth against this. Woohoo! Kraken's Eye. See, told you no one wanted it. This is the last pick, and there's a swamp. Uh, before I grab that swamp, let's take a quick look here. What we have, you see, we're blue. We're a bit more blue than white. Um, you can see how, especially in the first two packs, we did a real good job balancing our picks. We have this Triskelion at six, and we have two Air Servants, a Water Servant, and a Sarah Angel. That's plenty of ways to kill them. And then we have a lot of control. Four C's going to help us find those cards we're going to kill them with. We have Azure Drake and two Cloud Elementals. And with those an Air Servant, no flying creature is going to kill us. Got Armored Ascension and Mighty Leap to give give things flying that don't have it already. Got Mana Leak and Negate to counter stuff. Uh, Alluring Siren's going to tap stuff. Blinding Mage going to tap stuff. Air Servant. I think this deck's pretty good. Uh, so let's go build it. I will see you in the last part of the video. Deck building.